Hey, hey, YouTube! Welcome back to Arabin Outdoors. Hey, I'm Arabin, but you knew that, didn't you? Well, as you guys can tell, my voice is still not back to normal. And it's starting to worry me a little bit. It feels a lot better. It's not as scratchy and as sore. But it, it, as you can tell by the sound of it, it's back, not back to normal either. So, but anyway, I just, I feel like my voice should be back a lot better than it is now. And it's starting to worry me a little bit. Today I'm smoking this little Capri pipe that I purchased in a basket. The first pipe I ever purchased. I'm still smoking it. Last week I experimented a little bit and I took some of my bits and pieces tobacco that I keep in one jar. I took it out, put it in a small mason jar like this. This is what I keep my tobacco in. This one's empty. And I poured a little bit of honey bourbon into the tobacco. And then I shook it up got it all mixed up real good and then I took a piece of wax paper and laid it out and I poured the tobacco out and I let it dry for two days and that's what I'm smoking here and it's good I can get a little hint of the honey bourbon but this already has so many blends of different tobaccos it's very interesting. Great room note. The smell is outstanding. Actually, in the room note, I can pick up the honey bourbon. Have you guys ever added whiskey or bourbon to your tobacco? or wine. I was just curious what would happen and now I know it's pretty pleasant. Hey, I'm going to show you what I'm doing right now. I'm in the fox den and for two days I've had my pipes in cleaning process. Let me show you what I mean. I usually try to do this once a year, at least once a year, and what I do is I take a pipe that has been heavily smoked, or just an older pipe, and I fill it with coarse sea salt, and then I add some drops of rubbing alcohol. Now when I first did this, let me see if I can show you. This pipe here wasn't that bad. And you can see the salt is a lot more pure in color and white. When I put it in there, it was very white. It was brand new, coarse, sea salt but if you look in some of the pipes you can see how that salt is absorbing and pulling out all of the nasty gunk inside of the pipes pretty severe in some of them check this one out that's not white anymore is it this one in particular but yeah what it does is I leave them in there for for two days and give that salt and alcohol 
a chance to absorb all of the yucky gooky gook. Yucky gooky gook. Yucky gooky gook. In the pipes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, clean out the salt and everything and um, burn the bowl and uh, get everything cleaned out, get my pipe cleaners in there, clean the stems up, and then I'll work on the exterior. But anyway, how do you guys clean your pipes? Well, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I hope you guys are having a happy Christmas season. I just finished all of my Christmas shopping today. Well, anyway, from the title, uh, Pipes and Important Things, I want to share with you guys four of what I consider the most important things in life. And this is based on my 55 years here on Earth and what I have experienced. I started just thinking about family and Christmas and what's really important. And I started thinking about all right, if I had to start getting rid of stuff, what am I going to be able to get rid of? And of course, I started with materialistic things. I can do without, without a lot of what's sitting right here in this man cave, for one. But I took it beyond that. What else could I do without? negative people, bad influences, things like that. And what I came down to was what I think are the four most important things for you to have a fulfilled life. And I'm going to do them in order of importance. Starting with number one. The number one most important thing should be God. God should be put first before everything. The number two most important thing should be family. Family should come before any other human being. And the third most important thing is friendship. Now, I don't have a ton of friends, but I have a few select close friends that are like brothers to me, and I love them like brothers. But it's important to have friendship. And then, if I had to go one more, I would say the fourth most important thing is your home. Not the size or the elegance of it, but the love that can be found within that home's humble walls. And I think if you focus on those four things, God, family, friendship, and a humble home, you will live a fulfilled and happy life. I hope you're having a Merry Christmas. And until next time, keep calm, carry on, and keep puffing.